there you are. Come in, come in. Sit back, relax, put your feet up, put your hands down and come along for a fantasy ride that you'll wish you'd never found. Smart sound. What do you think of that? Three days just for the milk. Smart sound. And with me, as ever, is Benjo Tinker Taylor. Uh, good, very good evening to you. And thank you, as ever, so much for having me. You complete me, Ben. Or this podcast would be weird if it was just me on my own, so. What? Uh, We've got a bit of housekeeping to do this week, Uh, Ben. Yes, we have. Uh, We've been uh, been rummaging through the mailbag, and uh, we've had uh, what we can only describe as a plethora of of searching questions uh, (laughs) from our listenership on uh, various questions and uh, rumours they may have heard about us that they'd like us to clear up. And we will endeavour to tackle uh, a handful of those uh, this very day. You can, of course, send us uh, voice notes or uh, written uh, emails uh, to brainballscommunity at gmail.com. And uh, we do read every email we receive. Um, Even If you don't hear your uh, question read out on uh, this week, for example, then do uh, tune in next week, as you never know. Yeah, I think that's that. That's that nonsense out of the way. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's go on to our uh, our first question, uh, shall we? This one uh, is uh, for Austin. It's been uh, sent in by Cheryl, and she's from Kingston upon Thames, and she says, uh, "Austin, please, could you tell me about the time that you were barred indefinitely from the Vatican?" <laughs> Yeah. Clearly, clearly uh, already um, <coughs> drawing some emotion from you. Uh, Vatican. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Um, yeah, this takes me back. Um, <laughs> yeah, this was this was uh, back in the 80s. I, uh, I was <laughs> at, um, at, un- at university. I went to... Um, Portsmouth University it used to be a polytechnic. All right. Oh, we nice. Got, yeah. We got we got uh, somehow it got um, promoted to a university, and um, I was I was studying finance there. But um, obviously, you uh, when you leave your kind of you know hometown from school and stuff, and you go to the wider world at university, mm-hmm. and um, you know you joined a few clubs. What did you join clubs at? at uh, yeah, ben? I was um, uh, ping pong Tuesdays. <laughs> ping pong Tuesdays. Uh, that was oh, well. uh, that was good. I probably shouldn't have called it that. That was my <laughs> class. But uh... <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Shame that can't to... stay in. I'm gonna have to take that out again. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, ping pong class on uh, our club on on Tuesdays, uh, eight until uh, half eight. Couldn't squeeze much in in that time, but um, it was needed by the uh, by the uh, bridge club immediately yeah, afterwards. Yeah. So, um, okay. um, but now I think that was about about it for me. What what, what clubs were you? Uh... Uh, what did I do? I did. Uh, I joined the. Uh, it was a new club. It was the <laughs> backwards arm wrestling club. Right. That's, that's um, very intriguing. I'm not, not familiar yeah, with that. Is that that's, yeah. is that what it sounds like as a sport or exactly what it sounds like? Okay. I also did um, backwards golf club. Backwards <laughs> golf. And, you know, you know the rest. You know how. You but, know, yeah, anyway, essentially and, any, any and, existing and, sport, but with backwards. Yeah, 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 yeah. We yeah. did the reverse. Mm-hmm. You know, it was, it was a time of you know experimenting and stuff. Yeah, the eighties, notoriously. Yeah. <laughs> notoriously. Anyway, and I joined. Um, one of the clubs I joined was a backwards. Um, <laughs> uh, I joined my uh, the guy that uh, shared a room with me in halls, mm-hmm. Lawrence, it, the loveliest, loveliest guy in the world. 
very colourful and um, very musical ah, okay. as well. And he he joined the club, and I didn't, you know, I wasn't part of it at the start, but um, he would be singing away in the, you know, in the bunk next to me. And, what, uh, uh, what kind of stuff was he singing? Caribbean type music, I'd say. Caribbean. -y. Yeah, oh, okay. I guess. Anyway, he uh, he asked me to uh, if I wanted to join him, and I was like one mm -hmm. Tuesday night, and I was like, yeah, okay, fine. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yes, it was uh, Caribbean. I went to the uh, the hall, or it, I think the the Green Club had just finished. Um, mm. Weird weirdos <laughs> in that one, I say. <laughs> um, a real mix of <laughs> and racists. <laughs> <laughs> sure, yeah, sure. Everywhere you get that, everywhere would be, and yeah, it was brilliant. Steel drums, and uh, yeah, You'd really... steel drums, yeah. No, we well, we borrowed the drums. Oh, I see, they... okay. We gave them back afterwards, it wasn't right. real steel. No. Um, and yeah, it was a really fun time, and um, and actually, um, it's turned into a bit of an adventure <laughs> joining him. They it was, it was basically. Uh, kind of uh, attached or associated with the um, the pride, the guys that were in the uh, pride, not movement, party or, or uh, group. Yeah, movement. Yeah. Movement. Or, okay. Yeah. okay. And they already had a planned uh, tour mm -hmm. down to South America. Oh. I know. And so, yeah, they, they were really cool guys and I, you know, supported, supported the movement. And so... I was allowed to, yeah, go along and be part of it, and mm -hmm. it was amazing. Um, we ended up, well, we did a, I think it was three countries we went to for three weeks. Um, all, all in South America? Yep, South America. It was, um, it was, uh, the three countries, were, uh, they were, U it was Uruguay, uh, mm -hmm. Paraguay, and Chile. Oh, nice. Thank you. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, incredible time my first year of university and i spent three mm -hmm. weeks down in south america nice. uh i felt i failed my first year <laughs> oh yeah yeah, <laughs> still, yeah absolutely still. no way you you could meet the <laughs> demands of a, <laughs> of a course yeah well no no sure sure i assume that but yeah no do continue <laughs> well worth it i'm sure my parents will, will tell you it's well worth it. <laughs> yeah um and um yeah it was uh bringing uh caribbean still drums and uh, the colors and the, f the atmosphere and the feeling down to south america because they you know they're yeah. very stuck in there <laughs> yeah. yeah that that stuff was more useful in south america than portsmouth <laughs> because you know they really need to loosen up down there yeah. Yeah, they look up going god they've got it going on in, in hampshire haven't they we, we really got to get a piece of that action <laughs> I think I think it was more based more based on uh, acceptance of sexuality and the involvement of music than it was sure, you know, okay. being colourful and passionate nice. in itself. That's um, very noble. Really, a lovely time, really good time. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, the tour was called uh, Reggae and Proud. Nice. And so and so when we were down there, you know, it was amazing having amazing experience down there. Mm -hmm. When I was in Chile, mm -hmm. I met a guy called uh, Carlos, a really cool dude, and really liked his uh, Caribbean music. Okay. And uh, but he was into uh, astronomy. He was oh. uh, an astronomer. He liked English reggae music and astronomy. Okay. Those are his two things. And he had a he just got a new puppy, uh, and he called it he called it Saturn. Um, and I was lucky enough to spend some time with him, and I got invited to go and um be shown the very large telescope. In oh, Chile. I see. Oh, the, uh, the observatory, yeah, 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 yeah. And it was uh, it was un it's mind mind bottling, it was mind boggling. Mm -hmm. Have you? Have you ever looked in a big, very large telescope? I have actually. Yeah, it is. It is amazing. It does does blow your mind a little bit. My, my eyes were open, just one eye. Mm -hmm. um, but it was uh, unbelievable to see the whole to go down to South America with the mm -hmm. 
Caribbean pride guys to then mm -hmm. go and have your all eyes, your ears opened, and then have mm -hmm. both eyes opened and looking wow. at the universe. This is a this is a a defining um, trip, it's, isn't it? It it really it is a, overwhelming. A life, um, yeah, oh, oh, very overwhelming. Yeah. And so yeah, had an amazing time with uh, with him down there and with the astronomy guys and mm -hmm. and kept in touch, touch with uh, Carlos all this time. Mm -hmm. I, I started in finance in London and uh, Carlos um, he got a job in uh, uh, in uh, the astronomy field down in Chile mm -hmm. and you know just to get his feet in the door and then um, uh, after a year or two he got um, accepted to the uh, European uh, Space Agency uh, in, I think the headquarters, oh, the headquarters were in Italy, mm -hmm. in Rome. And uh, yeah, it was doing really well. Anyway, after after yeah, a year or two, um, uh, one time I got invited over uh, to, to Rome for uh, Halloween. Mm -hmm. And um, there, were, there was going to be a big uh, Halloween party in the um, observatory. So we went over to Rome for uh, Halloween and um, it was really cool to, you know, see him again and uh, see Saturn who'd grown a little bit up. Oh, so he was uh, no longer no longer a puppy by this point. No longer a puppy. A couple of years had gone. Um, that can be hard work, can't it? They can really run rings around you. And you <laughs> <laughs> I mean, moving a dog from one country to another country, you've really got to plan it. <sighs> Yeah, that's true. Anyway, thank you. Very anyway. true. Well, when you met up with him, you must have been over the moon, must you? <laughs> yeah. uh, all bits are off. Anyway, so we there was a big, a big um, uh, Halloween party in the planetarium mm -hmm. uh, in the uh, European Space Agency, and yep. a lot of us uh, dressed up as um, you know vampires and witches and. Uh, things like that and uh yeah, really really cool night really fun night um Carlos had taken his dog with him um mm -hmm. and is normally really well behaved right but there was uh, at some point during the night someone had let some fireworks off oh dear yeah yeah and I'm not sure um uh Saturn, had, Saturn yeah. uh, experienced them before mm -hmm. anyway and it just bolted and just run out one of the open doors out into the streets of Rome and mm -hmm. uh so you know I say lovely dog and and we kind of all kind of filtered out a few of us you know not everyone obviously but you know say 10 20 of us um went out to find him and um right. and you know we're all a little bit drunk and but it's all all good fun um mm -hmm. running uh sort of you know w running around the streets of uh, Rome to to mm -hmm. find him, and uh, inevitably, a, f a few of us um, run through some big gates. Um, oh dear! Right, okay. Which, you know, mm -hmm. we kind of knew, but we kind of also didn't really know that it was uh, the Vatican gates. Mm -hmm. And so we were running, kind of around the Vatican, <clears throat> looking for the dog, mm -hmm. and. So what I understand, the police report kind of got a little bit of mixed mixed wires. We tried to explain it, but it, they didn't really listen, didn't really mm -hmm. accept it. They all they saw was some people dressed like vampires and witches running round the Vatican, shouting, "Satan, Satan, here's <laughs> Satan." Satan, come out, Satan. <laughs> and obviously, we know. Lovely. Wow. Yeah. We know mm. what we were saying. They're a funny bunch, those Christians, yeah. those Catholics. Mm -hmm. Take it quite seriously. I don't know if you mm. know this. Well, particularly, you know, in, in, at that postcode. Yeah. Can be a bit funny about it. Yeah. Can be a bit funny, can't they? Mm -hmm. So we did find him. In the end, oh, well, brilliant! Right, good. <laughs> he looks a bit cross. Ah, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, bloody hell! <laughs> 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 
You must be thinking, I hope we don't get caught. I don't going to nail us for this. <laughs> they will crucify us for this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So it all ended well. Mm-hmm. And we went back and had a wonderful time in the observatory. Right. With, with Saturn. With Saturn. Mm-hmm. But that was the time that I got banished from the Vatican. Wow. Crikey. Mm. Oh, no. well, story. It's, you know, amazing, isn't it? Because when I, when I read that, I thought, God, this is going to be, you know, some, some wrongdoing in here somewhere. Mm-hmm. But it does just go to show, doesn't it? With perfectly innocent, perfectly innocent, but actually best of intentions yeah. can lead, was, you know, just through yeah. a misunderstanding. That's all. And, I mean, uh, yeah. Yeah. God, yeah God, well. God only knows what no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, who was that sent that in? Uh, that was from Cheryl in uh, Kingston upon Thames. So thank, thank you very you, much, Cheryl. Cheryl. I hope that's uh, sufficiently uh, answered Wait, your question. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Hello, boys. This is Barry from Carnarvon. Can you tell me about the time that you spent six months painting something wrong? Thanks, boys. Well, thanks, Barry. <laughs> yeah, indeed, Barry. Thank you very much. Um, wow. So, Ben, can yes. you tell Barry mm-hmm. uh, the time that you spent six months painting something wrong? Yes, I can, uh, with, with with pleasure, actually. And, and again, thank you very much, Barry. Um, so this was uh, actually only a few years ago, something I've, I've kept a little bit quiet. Uh, have I ever spoken to you, Austin, about the uh, the time I spent in prison? <laughs> I feel, like, I feel like it, it, it prob- probably. Uh, it feels like something that would have come up. I know uh, you disappeared um, for mm. a, a, a little time, and we. Yeah, it was. We... Uh, it was uh, eight months. Yeah, mm. yeah. That's. Uh, I think people assumed I'd kind of gone off grid, um, but no, I was uh, under <laughs> under lock and key. Uh, really, uh, her Majesty's so, pleasure. Mm-hmm, indeed, but very much uh, not my own. Um, so the way this started, what I, what I should uh, emphasise right from the start is that as far as I'm concerned, to this day I was, uh, uh, you know, innocent. Oh, were you? Um, were you? Okay. Now, I'm not saying I wasn't committing a crime, but I was doing it accidentally. Okay? Oh, I, I see. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Innocent in, that... uh, in thought, if not indeed. Indeed. <laughs> indeed. Now, I... I don't know. I, I imagine you probably won't have these uh, up uh, in the uh, outer reaches of uh, of Iceland, where you where you spend a lot of time. Mm-hmm. But in the UK, over the last few years, we got sheep. Yeah. We got sheep <laughs> up there. Yeah. yeah. Um, in the UK, over the last uh, few years, and there's still there's still laws <laughs> <laughs> with what you can do with sheep up there as well. So I'm delighted to say, on this occasion, oh. it was uh, was was nothing to do nothing to do oh, okay. with anything any of that. Um, okay. No, no, in the UK over the last uh, few years, as I'm sure, there's probably 10 years actually, I'm sure most of the uh, our listeners will be aware, uh, the uh, scan-as-you-go uh, method has become rather prevalent at uh, supermarkets. For those of you who oh, don't know, essentially you go, you take your own bag, you pick up the item, you scan it on an app or on a little hand scanner, pop it into the bag. When you get to the end, you just scan it at the checkout, pay, and off you go. Delightful. Now, I'm not saying but I haven't in the past accidentally on purpose come away with two spinach and uh, ricotta tortellini uh, <laughs> while only having a scan of one. I like to try and keep it, you know, to deniable quantities. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and of course, I, you know, as, as you've said many times, I, I, I'm so, on first impression, come across as so trustworthy that no one would ever know. But anyway, that wasn't what happened on this occasion. No, um, I was used to going to our, our local Sainsbury's. Mm-hmm. And doing other, just that. Other uh, supermarkets are available. What well, they are indeed, and that's very much uh, part of the issue. Um, <laughs> what, what came, what came to bite me? So I don't, you know, often stride into uh, in Sainsbury's, bag for life in hand. Um, whack up You've the. Always got to be my... careful of the guys with bag to life in hand striding into a Sainsbury's. Mm-hmm. Yes, well, and the uh, confidence, the overconfidence of the step. Really oh, I, put security on a... I, I love it because even though I'm still shopping, which I bloody hate, mm-hmm. in my mind I'm still thinking about how much time I'm saving as I'm, you know, striding <laughs> past all the mugs, 
at, at, at the checkouts with their trolleys. They've got to put it, they've got to take it out, put it on the thing, bag it up again. I haven't got to do any of that. You Boom, won. straight into the bag. Yeah. Out, you know, 15 minute uh, evolution, the whole thing. Big family mm-hmm. shop, done. Um, so very often, yeah, I used to um, head into our Sainsbury's, chucking the stuff into the trolley, scanning it as I go, and uh, head out. No drama. Um, on this occasion, though, I was in a little bit of a rush. I'd been sent out to get some uh, get some groceries. Uh-huh. Um, Sainsbury's not actually the closest supermarket to us. Uh, closest one is uh, I don't know if one of you, you've heard of Tesco. Uh, yeah, I've yeah, I've. So I, I head into Tesco, uh, bag for life in hand. Um, I start scanning the items on my on my app, chucking them in. Um, filled up a couple of bags worth. Boom, done. Just starting to head towards the uh, area at the uh, end where um where you scan and, and pay. And all of a sudden, I feel a, a, a firm hand on my shoulder. Wow. Okay. First thought, I'm being mugged. Why here? Why now? Surely mm-hmm. CCTV is going to, uh, you know, would, yeah. would put off most uh, petty criminals. But I turn around. No, it's a gentleman, big gentleman, wearing a white mm-hmm. shirt and a tie. Oh. Mind you, mind you, of your prison days. Those were still. Those were still to come. Oh, this, uh, sorry, sorry. A precursor <laughs> to your business. Yes, okay. this, this is a precursor. Yeah. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Mind yeah, you of your uh, navy days. <laughs> <laughs> the hand wasn't so, on your shoulder normally. <laughs> uh, well, then, when I, it was normally a hand on each shoulder. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, um, so I turn around. It's a fellow there wearing a white shirt and a, and a tie. Could you come with me, please, sir? I, I'm sorry. What's what's this about, sir? Come with me. I'm escorted oh. by this gentleman and his colleague, similarly dressed, following uh, uh, you know um, yeah. a little bit behind us. Yeah. I'm taken into an office at the side of the store. Could you uh, show us the contents of your bag, sir? Uh, <laughs> yeah, by by all means. But 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 what's this about? Um, open it. He starts taking stuff out of the. But you know, I've, I've got my got my tortellini on this occasion. Perfectly sure. legitimate. Sure. My uh, my super noodles. Um, is, that's a whole spectrum there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, my cool. shreddies. That's from working um, class to I, 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 class. I, 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 I could go on, could go on. Please go on. Uh, could you explain yourself, sir? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. I'm, I'm just doing the, the scanners. Shop. I'm, I'm in a bit of a rush, actually. So I hope this won't take too long. Huh? I'm do, doing the scanners you shop, and I was just about to go and pay, and uh, you were doing the what, sir? <laughs> I'm sorry. You were doing the what, sir? Uh, doing scanners you shop. What's that? I'm sorry. What <laughs> scan is you shot? As at that point, it dawned on me. I wasn't in Sainsbury's. Oh, ben. I was in Tesco's. No! I've come oh. into the shop, been scanning the items on my Sainsbury's app, which, of course, same barcodes, is registering yeah. them all, chucking the items straight into my bag. I'm just... Yeah. And then heading yeah. towards the door, as far as they're concerned. Oh, uh, I see. But you hadn't actually left I hadn't left the premises, no. But I've is been that... putting it into into my own bags, you see, which is something that they don't do at uh, Tesco. So as far as I was concerned, I was brazen. You were in the process shoplifting. of shoplifting. Mm-hmm. I see. Yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> Even though you were still on the premises, they could. Even though they, yeah, they could. Listen, these are experienced guys. They know what they're looking for. And in a right? court of law, I'm sure. Well, I, I would have thought the same as you, but. You know where this story's going. So I've got a feeling we all don't we listener. Mm-hmm. We all kind of know where this is going. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna suggest that we don't know the legal system like you do now. Like like I do now, no. You know, I mean <laughs> but no, yeah, it turns out they had me uh bang to rights, as uh, they say. So um it was off to <laughs> off to okay. judge judge uh, judge took an instant Judy. dislike to me. Yeah. You know, decided yeah. he was gonna make an example of me. Okay. And so You've I was. You get a lot of that, don't you? I do, yeah, yeah. People, many times in, in, in life, you know, people would, would take a bit of a dislike to me. Yeah. And I remember, it, I remember growing up, Sister Mary. <laughs> she she was effing and jeffing at you your first day in <laughs> um, Sunday school. <laughs> yeah. What did you? What I don't know. I think it was what it was. She'd taken my uh, oversized crucifix as an attempt at bling. Rather than really? uh, trying to show the respect, which I clearly was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Upside down. To be, yeah. To be fair, also the clock around my neck and the uh, 
the constant wearing of sunglasses probably didn't help with that. The, with and that but again, that, that's a precursor to your navy days with the clock around your neck. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And and looking back, you know, maybe, maybe there's there is a thread running through. <laughs> <laughs> for all of these. But uh, no, Judge took it in, uh, you know, took a dislike to me. And uh, despite the best efforts of my legal team, which weren't great, to be honest with you, no, uh, be no. but because I, d I decided to represent myself, never did that. <laughs> they were idiots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, completely fucking idiots. They were out of their debt, were they? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I, again, kind of, now I think about it, objecting to my own statements <laughs> in, in court probably didn't help. And yeah, maybe the judge thought I was making a mockery of the system and uh, <laughs> of the court and, and him. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So it was me uh, off off to the cooler for uh, for eight months. <laughs> wow. Uh, the cooler cooler being uh, cooler being uh, Exeter Prison. <laughs> Wow! Wow! Oh, Jesus Christ! That's uh... mm. which you know. They, you, you know that's up there, don't you? <laughs> well, you're doing prison. <laughs> with, with... <laughs> Very good. No, no. I mean, you've you've, you've got the list, haven't you? You've got what? Strange ways. Yeah, Wormwood uh, Alcatraz. Scrubs, Alcatraz. Exeter. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I mean, I'll, I'll never forget my, my first day uh, walking through that corridor. Got all the. Um, you know, walking past the uh, all the cells with the prisoners leaning out and trying to grab me and uh, and whatever. You're trying um, to grab them. I'm trying, to, yeah, trying to grab them, which again took me back to my navy days. Um, being escorted to myself in that moment, you can't. I, I can't describe it. Um, you know when please, please door, try and describe it. Well, you you walk into this tiny little cell, and uh, just a little window, a uh, little bed, little toilet. You know, stainless steel toilet. And the sound of that door slamming behind you, mm -hmm. it's, it's like nothing else because it, it goes through you, you know. You were standing really in the way, were you? <laughs> yeah, well, I'd not actually Get entered the... Way. the uh, Get out I'd not, the way. I'd not, I'd not entered the door properly. In fact, the, yeah. the, the guard was very... He went, oh, sorry, mate. I, I thought, you, <laughs> thought you'd gone in. Right, okay. <laughs> Once I'd stopped crying, I accepted his apology and uh, yeah. went on with it. But, mm. uh, but, yeah, so, so a rough uh, first uh, couple of days, rough week or so um i was picked on by the other uh I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm, just, I'm just i'm just i'm just i'm sorry you got you got you got eight months for, eight months eight months for shoplifting for shoplifting yeah was I know, your look, first offense first offense yeah listen seems, no one no one was more surprised than me you must have done an incredibly bad job in, in court well, well i also Were you as, naked as well, <laughs> it's, it's worth remembering i was doing the big shop um, oh, so it was a lot of stuff. Well, yeah, that's a lot. You know, it, yeah. I think I had four eight tins months, of uh, chopped eight tomatoes. Months, eight months in a high security jail for <laughs> shoplifting. <laughs> Talk to me. Yeah, do, you know, yeah, do you know what? Now I think about it, that is a bit... At no point Might before did, the did it... Did it yeah. yeah. You know those daytime adverts when, have you been missold car insurance? Yeah. I think... You might have a claim to make it. I, 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 well, I thought it was kind of, strange. The guy in the cell on the, on the left of me, um, jo Jolly Tony, uh, yeah. he was in for multiple murders. Oh, and, right. And on the other side, Dead Ken. Um, <laughs> he was, uh, what was he in for? Oh, he'd been involved in a, in a bank robbery in which, uh, and there's me, oh, right. me, you know, taking Twixes out of uh, Tesco. But the law's the law, you know. You can't... Uh, yeah, well, I didn't can't. think you could argue with it, but actually, no. Again, it does. It does seem harsh, but I was in there. I was, oh, you know, yeah, facing my sentence. Um, doing your porridge, eating your porridge. No, uh, what were you doing? Eating, sucking. Some... No, uh, <laughs> eating everyone's porridge. <laughs> eating, staring, <laughs> having my porridge. Stare. Coming in... <laughs> it was, you know, that scene in Wallace and Gromit where the porridge cannon goes wrong and sticks him to the wall. <laughs> That was it. That was my version of porridge. <laughs> it's your porridge. <laughs> oh, God. Oated in porridge. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, like, yeah oh, I, I did my porridge. We cut to that. <laughs> and, other, and a lot of other people's porridge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. 
Yeah, <laughs> sorry, Ben. I don't mean to laugh. I don't mean to laugh. So, well, I, I've, it, it's all right. I mean, I, I can look back at it and laugh now, but um, no, you're right. It, it does raise a few questions about the legal process and severity of sentence. Uh, weird, I didn't think about that before. Um, <laughs> weird, though, isn't it? Um, yeah, to begin with, you know, it's a very hostile place. It's very deliberately intimidating, but I'd, um, you know, occasionally pass a, a, a friendly word with Jolly Tony on the one side and Dead Ken on, on the other. Just, a, you know, occasionally I get a, you're right, kid. Mm-hmm. I'm like, which actually now I think about it, it was exactly the same voice as a security guard. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. This all seems, did they set you up? Is this... I think it's, I think it's more, more my telling than, uh, where was um, Jolly Tony from? Can I remember? Because I'm sure he must have had a fairly strong regional accent wherever he was. Are you? Oh, from... he wasn't Pakistani, wasn't he? No, he, no, he wasn't. Jolly Chinese? Tony was Chinese? not. Pa- no, he was definitely English or uh, British. Right. Yeah, a uh, Yorkshire. Wasn't Jolly Tony yeah. from Yorkshire? Yeah, he was. He up, son. <laughs> nice. And I know it's your first week, but don't don't that worry. Right. Okay. You, you're gonna be grand. And and dead uh, kid on the other side. Newcastle uh, oh. was it? Yeah. I think. How are we? How are we? <laughs> How are my you? Name, my name is Dead Ken. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah. his name wasn't wow. Ken. His, his name was actually Gareth, but he was just incredibly enthusiastic about everything. And of course, Keen in that accent. Uh, I'm, I'm Dead uh, Ken. Jesus Christ. Do you, do you want to come? I'm Dead Ken, man. <laughs> Perfect. Absolutely <laughs> dovetail. Nailed. Um, uh, seamless. Yeah. Yeah, um, you know, I, I started to to make friends with them, mm-hmm. and after a few days, Who wouldn't? Uh, Who wouldn't? Yeah. after about a week or so, it was time for my uh, first visit with the warden, mm-hmm. um, which hitherto I'd thought was only something that really happened in films like Schindler's List and whatever. But now I'm pretty what pretty sure not Schindler's List, not Schindler's List. Fuck <laughs> you know. I mean, Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> it was a very fucking harsh. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Christ! I mean, I know they, I know they're strict in Exeter, but that's a yeah. Uh, hitherto, <laughs> I thought this, uh, you know, intimidating meeting with the warden was only was something that only Similar happened in to... films. Like oh, okay. What? Shawshank Redemption. What type of films? Oh, okay. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So, um, but no, <laughs> apparently it turned out, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure it uh, is a universal experience. So, yes, I was taken off to uh, to meet the warden and uh, introduced, shuffled into into his office, sat down. And, um, God, where was he from, the, the warden? He was... Uh... He was uh, from Cork, wasn't he? <laughs> Was it? Oh, Craig, yeah. Yeah, now oh, I, I think it. about it. Yeah, yeah he was. Um, uh, hello there now, Mr. Taylor. <laughs> ah, for Jesus. Look at you <laughs> now. Yeah? You shouldn't have been walking out with them while teasers, should you now? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Mr. Mr. Taylor, take a seat for it. <laughs> take a seat there, will you? No, that's a, a getting a bit north of the... Getting a bit north of the border. He was, um, he, was tra- he travelled though, hadn't he? He travelled around. He did, he did, yeah. So I took a seat and said, I see here now. I know that you have had a very harsh sentence nice. for your crime. What I intend to do to you to help you. <laughs> see, I know that a pretty man like yourself is going to have a tough time in the prison system. So what I propose for you is I'm going to put you on a work order. Keep you away from the general population for the maximum amount of time I can for the working day. <laughs> and then have you back he in your... He drunk a lot as well, by the sound Yeah, he was, yeah. He was, he was uh, yeah, heavy, heavy <laughs> drink. And then have you back in your, uh, back in your cell by lights out. What do you think of that? And of course, I was very grateful because exactly as he said, any, you know, time away, the hardest times were, you know, in, in the hall, in the, you know, um, any time mixed with lots of other prisoners other than, uh, uh, Jolly Tony and uh, and Dead Ken, um, yeah. so yeah, I was put on a on a work detail, and my job was uh, 
as it as I was instructed was to uh, repaint all of the uh, the numbers and the identifying marks outside each each room in the uh, in the prison, uh, in, including each cell. I'm sorry, you had to what? Sorry, I had to repaint so renumber uh, every room <laughs> in in the prison. Or, 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 or the, yeah, including the cells, in, including the cells. Uh, well, there's, there's other rooms. Well, there's the uh, library, there's uh -huh. the chapel, there's yeah, you know the warden's the, office, the cafeteria. You know, lo yeah, literally yeah, the, hundreds, plating. Th thousands uh, of them. Um, and over over the years, they've become a bit shoddy. Um, so yeah, um, week or two went by for that, and it was working really well. I was hardly mixing with any other prisoners. Um, <clears throat> And you know that it was it, it was very successful uh, until uh, the first time I realised I'd made a mistake. Um, only only a little one, uh, but basically it was funny enough. It was when I was doing my own cell. Um, okay. I I found that I'd I'd got a bit mixed up with the numbering, and I'd confused the numbers of the cells either side of mine. Which oh, I thought, oh, God, I'm, I'm going to be really for it, but I'll have to report it in the morning. Okay. Came back to my cell in the evening, mm -hmm. and uh, wait a minute. Jolly Tony is now on the right of me, and Dead Ken's on the left. The staff had just come, read the numbers, which I'd inadvertently gotten the wrong way around, and sure. just put them in, put them into the, you know, the numbered cell. No real impact on the on the, the running of it. Even I'm the sorry, cellmates. So the, okay, so you put the numbers wrong. Yeah, I, I got mixed you up. Started one end of the wing. Instead of it being 20, you started at 1 and ended the other end at 20. Well, no, what I'd done is, being very egocentric, I'd started with my own cell and worked outwards. Oh, but I got it. I, I got a, it, I oh, got right, it wrong right. right from the off. Um, like that's, that's a lot more believable. Yes, yeah. I see. <clears throat> yeah, well, you know, because I could always find my way back to my back to my cell, because I still was not that familiar with the prison uh, at this uh -huh. point. Um, uh -huh. But, yeah, it went completely unnoticed by the guards. And... Uh, Jolly Tony and Dead Ken were essentially swapped cells purely because I'd numbered them incorrectly, and they never said anything. I think I remember uh, uh, Dead Ken muttering, "It, it is a funny smell in here." Um, <laughs> but, but that was it, because of course all all of the cells were identical, being uh, you know maximum security. There was no personal markings. No. Oh really? So, yeah, yeah, wow. nothing at all. Mm. Mm. Again, for a shoplifter, this seems like a very strange environment mm -hmm. but remember yeah. the big shop remember yeah. the big shop it, it was yeah. it was a very very big shop um family pack of coke zero in there you know there's they're not cheap yeah. they're not um <clears throat> so yes my my little mistake was uh was not noticed and i thought hmm you know what? i think i can have a little bit of fun fun with it <laughs> So yeah, so so I continued, uh, you know, painting. And I thought every third or fourth cell, I'm going to miss number. So over the next week or two, I uh, carried on and I just swap cell numbers occasionally, and just get one wrong, just switch it what, with one. So, goes, so what what number cell was yours? Uh, one seven seven. <laughs> Sorry, so you went, you swapped one seven six and one seven eight around. Yeah. So now you're saying that it read 175, 178, 177, 176, 179. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I realised that I essentially had free reign. I could label it. Because you've got to remember what the guards in this, in this place, when yeah. they're escorting people back to their wing, they know the general area. They just get them there. Look up. Is that the right cell? No. Shift over. Just bung, bung them in. And so, yeah, I they started literally swapping. get to the front of a cell and then look up and then down again. That, that's makes exactly sense. That fact, makes sense. In, in fact, I saw many a time um, a cell which I'd misnumbered uh, deliberately, which already had an inmate in it. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> a prisoner would be escorted to it. The guard would look up. I mean, you know, far be it from me to cast aspersions on the intelligence of employees of uh, Her Majesty's prison, His Majesty's prison service. Um, yeah. But uh, imagination outside the box thinking was not a prerequisite, okay. shall we say? Um, so yeah, they they turf the prisoner that was in there out, chuck the new one in. I ironically, it was the cells in their brain that they were missing. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. Thank you. Yeah, I found as long as I 
essentially, I, I realised as long as it was always a straight swap, so I was always swapping two cells or two rooms at any, at any one uh, uh -huh. one time. Okay. Um, it, it was okay. You know, I could I couldn't just have an odd one, make up a number because that would ring alarm bells, probably literally. Um, literally, yeah. As long as there was somewhere for everywhere to everyone to be, mm -hmm. um, it, it it wasn't going to be a problem. I see. Um, and so, yeah, I started shuffling uh, prisoners around, trying to get the, the guys I liked closer to me or the ones who were more sympathetic closer to me, mm -hmm. the ones I didn't like um, further, you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, away. I actually managed to have a few prisoners taken off my wing at uh, one point, which was very, you know, was a bit of a stretch because the, the number in the, the letter system stretch, yeah. is, is, is completely uh, completely different. Uh -huh. um, but I think my, my real breakthrough moment mm -hmm. was... Uh, when I decided to push the boundaries even further, mm -hmm. and I had uh, Jolly Tony's uh, cell as the showers, um, uh, you know, officially, which was accepted by all. And of course, having to be a straight swap, it then meant that I had to label the prison showers as cell one seven six, which I think I said earlier was. Uh, I mean, Tony was he? He'd never been so clean. <laughs> I saw, saw, saw him at breakfast the next morning. He was loving it. Sparkling. All that space. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, he, yeah, he, he, he couldn't believe his luck. His, um, his skin was a little bit pruned. Mm -hmm. but... oh, 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 massively so. Massively so, yeah. Oh, I know what you're thinking. It's unbelievable that you're getting away, getting away with this, Ben. And, and you're absolutely right. Yeah, it, it, it seems mental, but... It feels like that the people that caught you um, shop, preemptive shoplifting... They read your character more than they looked in your basket. They knew you were a wrong un, mm -hmm. and it was well, just it's, an it's opportunity and egg, to isn't it? you take know, you out you of know. general yeah, society. It, it's chicken and egg, isn't it? If I was out in, you know, in oh, well, that society, was oh, that was that was in your basket as well, was it? Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, well, it was Sunday, so Got quail and, and then yeah. a then a lovely uh, omelet uh, next morning. <laughs> sure. That was, um, you know, would I have behaved in this way? If I've been treated as an upstanding citizen, maybe not. Oh, okay. Perhaps being treated oh, as a criminal. A... Getting a bit political here, yeah? yeah? This is why we need to that's... focus on rehabilitation rather than that punishment, is... ladies and gentlemen. Social um, commentary. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, right. The system is broken, not the people. It, it, exactly. Um, yeah, so after, after my little... Uh, <clears throat> My experiment and success with the uh, with the showers and uh, and Tony's cell, that was when I really really let loose. All bets were off. I changed the uh, the library for the infirmary. Um, <laughs> Did you have to book in advance or? <laughs> oh, nice, very nice. Thank you. Um, That's a chapter of your life, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I changed uh, the kitchen for the exercise yard, so uh, standard of food admittedly went down. Mm -hmm. Pretty significantly that week, mm -hmm. and uh, so I did. Event did eventually swap it back, <laughs> and uh, it was this point that I had my my big idea. Um, <laughs> left it a few days, allowed things to sort of die down into a bit of a sense of normality, such as they could. And again, it was really. And no remarkable. one was questioning. No one was questioning. No, I think you get so used to living by numbers in prison that um, you know the uh, the chefs would uh, cooking in the. Outside in the yeah. in the weights mm -hmm. area, yes, no well, one. Well, of course, the um, you know, two things about being in prison. Well, one is you live by numbers, and two is you you, ha you have to adapt, which I admit sounds very contradictory. Um, <laughs> but no, they you have to they'd, also they'd... not live by numbers. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You have to know about the numbers, but sometimes but for, rely on the count. numbers. Yeah. yeah. And when, have you have to what, know about the numbers, but when stuff doesn't add up, mm -hmm. you, you roll with it. You don't ask yeah. any questions. I see. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Have, have you you done time before as well? Or you, you oh, seem... Well, I'm sure at some point in the future, <laughs> I will have done. Yeah. No, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I was going to say your, your attitude to it seems seems absolutely bang on. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. No, it was. Um, they, they just kind of made it work. I mean, badly. It didn't work well at all. I mean, <laughs> is that like, making it work? No, 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 it's not. Uh, um, you got yeah. away with it. Let's say you got away with it. Mm, but you know, doctors coming in every day, 
making uh, operating tables out of copies of uh, Dan Brown. You know, the, the chefs on the outside mm. cooking some lovely gravel in the uh, the afternoon sun. <laughs> and of course, poor, uh, poor, poor, anyone who wanted a shower, all trying to squeeze into uh, poor old jolly Tony's cells nice. for their ablutions. Nice. Madness. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Tony had basically become aquatic at this uh, <laughs> at, at this stage. He'd, his his hands and feet webbing over, <laughs> just. But his skin, he's, he's never yeah, looked so he healthy. He was so clean, man. Honestly, yeah. you've, you've never hydrated. seen a clean, yeah. clean a human being. But yes, anyway, so I, I left it a few days. Things things carrying on. And it was then I made my big uh, my my big attempt. <laughs> I only done a couple of months at this point, remember? So. Still oh, yeah. a lot of time ahead of me. Sure. So I, I head uh, on to uh, F Wing, which is where most of the administrative buildings, uh, mm-hmm. sorry, rooms were. were. Mm-hmm. To the end of the corridor, right. straight to the warden's office. Scrape off or paint over rather the uh, uh-huh. the, the mark on the outside saying warden. Uh-huh. Put 177 on it, didn't I? Which, 177 which your, being. Which is your one? Being my. Oh, I see. Cell number. <gasps> oh, wow. No one notices that. Back to my cell. <laughs> what do I paint on the outside? Warden. Ben's office. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, wait for the uh, wait for the, the the end of the working day. Wait for the hubbub to start to uh, to die down, and um, yeah, I'm taken by by my allocated guard. Takes me to where my cell was. Oh, that's strange. That's not oh, right. What, okay. what, what, what am I doing at the warden's office? That's not right. Takes me around pretty much the whole of uh, of, of the, you know, the uh, the centre, looking for uh, my allocated door. Never question it. Just thinking, this is strange. I thought, oh, it's not what I've got on my clipboard. Yeah, there's a bit a bit of a walk to your cell, isn't it, Mister Taylor? Um, mm-hmm. But eventually finds it, and yeah, there I am, locked into the warden's office. Wow! Wow! In ways, yeah. In many ways, I am now the warden. This is so, a course, perfect crime, Ben. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. Movies will be made about yeah. stuff like this. Yeah, yeah. A lot more exciting than uh, nicking, um, ostensibly nicking some chocolate hobnobs from Tesco, isn't it? So, um, yeah, find myself in the warden's office. And uh, long story short, uh, spent a little bit of time uh, looking for my uh, records, found them. Amended my um, played my sentence. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. Not music. Mm-hmm. Not music. No, no. I had Shawshank. No. I had Shawshank in my head again. No, no. Um, no. I amended it. You amended. Uh... <laughs> okay. Listen, I know it sounds tough, but this is a prison where if you change the number outside the room, that room would be treated as whatever you'd written outside of it. Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, amended. So hang words. on. So this is when. This was at the end of the working day that you changed yes. this. Yes. Now, I was aware I had a fairly short um, or relatively short window of time because the warden, he, he wasn't stupid. <laughs> he would have clocked, clocked this straight away. No, um, would he? Yeah. But yeah, not the numbers on all the cells and not the in person and sleeping sh- in the showers. <laughs> well, he, was, he, was, he wasn't very hands-on. Yeah, oh, he I spent see. a lot of time I in see. his office. I see. Uh, Hang reasons, on, you told, me came... about, you told me about the time. When he come to your cell, and he was quite hands on. <laughs> that was, uh, you know, you've got to give favours if you want to get favours, you know. I understand. The third, I understand. The third rule of prison. Um, I understand. But yeah, I was uh, so so locked in room for night. I thought I've only got tonight to do this. You know, mm-hmm. uh, first thing in the morning, I'm going to be let out. That was about seven o'clock for breakfast. Mm-hmm. Warden was normally in about nine, so I, I had a couple of hours. I could do the old switcheroo back again. I see, That's and he'd be back in his office. Yeah. So yeah, while I was, uh, mm. while I was in there overnight. So when they, so the the old Miss, Mississippi switcheroo, mm-hmm. is that an actual? Is that actually from the old Mississippi switcheroo? I believe so. And it's just been condensed over the years. Yeah, and also as well, I think it's actually based on my um, my story, mm. and the word Exeter. Over the years, <laughs> just... changed to Mississippi. <laughs> yeah, you know Easily how done. Chi- Easily Chinese done. whispers in it. You know, it's racist. 
I, I don't no, know. Are you allowed you won't. to say no. that? I don't know. No, you, you can't, know, Ben. You, you say, uh, you say, a, you know, a name to one person, they mishear it. Yeah, you can easily see Exeter uh, became um, became uh, Mississippi. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, anyway, while done. while I was while I was locked in there for the night, I um, had a dig through his filing cabinet, mm. found a fair few bottles of half drunk scotch, which explains why he spent so much time in his office. Um, but he had my a records. lot of bottles of half drunk scotch. Yeah, well, he was. Um, <laughs> what was he? <laughs> uh, he was a he was a glass half full kind of. Nice. Oh, oh. <laughs> Which he always said. Religiously kind of... so. He was a glass half full kind <laughs> yeah, of guy. Yeah. yeah, he wouldn't let it he go would below. Would never that. finish mm-hmm. a glass of something. Exactly. That's um, incredible. That's incredible. Yeah. Well, well done. Yeah, thanks. Um, so, yeah, while I, while I was in there, I, I, you know, no. I, so while while looking through this, uh, I managed to find what I was looking for, which of course was my records. Mm-hmm. Amended a few dates on them. Did you amend the shopping list so you put like a lot less expensive items in it, and therefore your it's exactly that, I exactly see. that. Yeah, I see. yeah. So I went. It, 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 was, it was no longer. You changed asparagus to Brussels sprouts. Yeah, it was uh, no longer Cravendale. I, yeah. I put it down to Tesco value. I see, uh, I see. Semi-skimmed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you see, uh, quails eggs to um, battery eggs. battery farm eggs. Oh, battery, yeah. Oh, I insist on battery eggs anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, uh, it's yeah, just yeah, the yeah. flavour, you know. If they're chickens with freedom, it's, it's just not the same. It tastes the same, but it's not the same feeling. No, you know? no. <laughs> yeah. You really died off the misery. Literally. Oh, this is not yeah. good, is it, Ben? You should be you should be locked up. <laughs> so you change you change the shopping. You're you're a vegan, aren't you? Anyway, depends who you ask. So, I mean, Jesus, that what kind of vegetables were you buying that that needed your what the extra cruelty broccoli? <laughs> the the. The caged broccoli. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you... Do you know that there actually is, is a kind of thing? You know, purple broccoli. Do you know how yeah. they get it? I'm not uh, suggesting this. They cool punch it. it. They, they punch it. No, they show it like a little, tiny little bit of light that's far away, and it grows up really thin and goes purple, no, trying, to find, really? trying to find the light. Yeah, genuinely. It even managed to be cruel to plants, which I didn't think you could be cruel to. But there you go. Yeah. They're really anyway. branching out. Really branching out with the cruelty, aren't they? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so right, sorry, I'm all, Ben. I, I'm all floret. <laughs> uh, is that the best one? That's got to be up there. That's might top. Be, might be. That's top. Top twenty. Um, Awful. Awful. Sorry. So okay. So we've we've kind of okay. So. Uh, so you had to what you had to change what were you changing in the time you had overnight to get before the, yeah, the so warden came w- what i did is, is I, I i basically brought down the value i couldn't change the number of items because that was fairly well accounted for but i went <laughs> you know I, I went from um the cravendale mm-hmm. down to your standard tesco um okay uh you know semi skim i yeah i uh considered going you know organic make it a, a bit more believable considering they'd, they'd met me but that was an extra um three days just for the milk so um <laughs> enough for that you know um, what this is a very I, I we were maybe we were a bit premature to judge this is a, a very forward thinking kind of uh punishment for for shoplifting it, mm-hmm. it, the, the hours and the days are calculated on the items that are shoplifted Exactly. That's yep. a, I, I kind of like that. I kind of like the punishment that. fit the crime. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, um, okay. So, but so you managed to you managed to adjust enough. Yes, the value of the individual items to to cover what you'd already spent time in prison. Yes, yeah, so I actually I, I managed to change it so that um, it appeared that there had been an administ- administrative <laughs> error. And I should have been released six weeks ago. <laughs> they were denying denying me of, of, of my liberty. Wow. Um, so uh, yeah, I was first uh, thing in the morning, I guess. First thing in the morning, um, 
I come out my cell. Warden's not in yet, yeah. but his sort of adjutant, the guy who comes in an office office, whatever, he has the papers on his on the desk of who's going to be released that day. Mm -hmm. Comes to me, oh, Mr. Mr. Taylor. Mr. Taylor's been a uh, terrible mistake. And I knew it had worked because he called me Mr. Taylor as opposed to Quick. Prisoner prisoner 177 or, or, oh. or pr 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 profuse apologies. There's, there's been a terrible mistake. Um, please allow me to take you to the, uh, you know. And I, yeah, I was, uh, I, was, I was released and uh, was in an Uber on my way home before wow. the uh, warden had even uh, arrived in the office. Was there any f pictures of Raquel Welsh anywhere? I put a couple of them up just to, um, you know. On the windows of the Uber. <laughs> just, yeah, yeah. yeah on the way. No, when I got Just home. to enjoy yourself. Just to yeah, yeah, enjoy yeah, yourself exactly, in a taxi yeah, ride home. Yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't have access to a printer. That was probably, probably the hardest thing about being in prison mm -hmm. was not having access to a printer to, so to you, be able to... So you had to draw, you had to sc yeah. scribble pictures of girls on your walls yeah and then yeah you you ask any uh old timer from prison they will tell you the printing issue is is by is far it? the hardest is part it? of it yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I see. I see. yeah easily easily yeah, for um decades but uh but yeah made my way home and uh never heard anything about it since and uh so that is the story of the time i spent six months or thereabouts Give or take Painting six weeks. Yep. Something uh, wrongly. That is an incredible story. Man. I know. It's, it, it's the sort of thing you'd think would have come up in conversation uh, before, but I suppose I've had no reason to mention it, really. No, not really, until until uh, uh, Barry brought it up. Yeah, well, you know, thank you, Barry. It's good that it's, it's out there. Not sure how you got that inf information. In fact, yeah. wait a minute. Now I think about it. Barry. The warden's first name was Barry. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, and uh, next up for us uh, to have a little look through our inbox, we've got a, a voice, a voice message here. Thank you for a voice uh, that uh, we always enjoy a voice message, don't we? Uh, this is uh, from Jonas. So uh, yeah, here's, uh, here's Jonas asking his question. Hi, this is uh, Jonas from Denmark. Uh, can you guys tell me about the time that you accidentally got kidnapped? <laughs> Thanks. Okay, Jonas. Uh, thank you very much. Jonas from Denmark there. <laughs> and uh, that one's for, for Austin. It's your turn. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, please do uh, tell us about the time you were accidentally kidnapped. <laughs> accidentally kidnapped. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, this was, um, oh, this is, this is back in the eighties. Um, it's amazing how many of your stories have them back in the eighties, isn't it? A lot of, uh, that was a busy old decade more for you, than, wasn't it? It's more than 10 years worth of stories I've got from <laughs> yeah. the eighties. A gonna... lifetime's worth of uh, stories. I, uh, several series of podcasts were <laughs> <laughs> So Certainly see. looking that way, yeah. <laughs> Isn't it? My my family, um, um, uh, we my family, um, we went to um, uh, Canada uh, in oh, the early well, eighties. I was going to ask. So early eighties, early eighties, okay. right? Um, and uh, my dad was a, a Mountie. Wow, for a while. Yep, and uh, they shipped them in from all over the world. <laughs> Okay, yeah. right. You didn't have to be Canadian. Was he, did he go to become a Mountie, or he was a Mountie beforehand? No, he did. Uh, and... He did Mountie training in uh, uh, North London. Okay, right. Um, it was a uh, yeah, it was a course he took. Right. Hmm. Okay. Part of their outreach sort of program. <laughs> um, it, no, it wasn't. A, it wasn't an outreach program. He. Um, I remember we had some pancakes. Uh, one day, <laughs> uh, we like we like pancakes. Growing up, it was not, not mm -hmm. traditionally English, but um, what did you have on them? Uh, there was uh, dad. Dad insisted on um, uh, syrup, maple syrup, and right, oh, okay, right. And I I remember that I was a child, but I still remember uh, <laughs> on a Sunday morning, uh, and we had our pancakes. And dad, uh, uh, there was a um, 
a competition in one of the uh, on the maple syrup bottle, and oh, okay. uh, it was uh, enter your name mm -hmm. and your age, and yeah, and, and whether you've ever uh, ridden a horse and reply because there's a current uh, mounty shortage in Canada. You you must remember the the mounty shortage of the eighties. You uh, a little bit before my time, but yeah, yeah. I remember reading about it subsequently mm -hmm. i think i don't know the, the full i was young myself but i don't remember the full facts but i think i think there was a big um there was a big push in the in the lumberjack and the uh ice hockey um uh tr trade or, or or you know mm -hmm. um and and i just think i think the the mounties were the guys that kind of uh, lost out a little bit in that in that generation sure now now i remember dad filling this in as you know why not on a Sunday doing a, doing the crossword? Oh, I'll fill that in just to become a Mountie. Um, yeah. And <clears throat> we said, Dad, what, what do you mean you've ridden a horse? He said, you know Blackpool Pleasure Beach? Oh, yeah. yeah. He said, mm -hmm. you know the donkeys that you've ridden on up and down the beach? I said, yeah. He said, yep. And we, oh, right, so that counted as his uh I think the loophole, I think te technicality mm -hmm. is, you know, he wasn't. He yeah. wasn't scared. No. Um, and he was very confident. He was more confident about being able to make the hat look good on his head right. than well, he that, was of course, any be of the, the major act. concern. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you look the part, you know, mm -hmm. I think that's a that's a that goes a long way in law enforcement, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, it does. Absolutely, it's very important. Anyway. Anyway. So. So would you? believe it that a few weeks later we got dad got um uh acceptance no mm -hmm. that was it there was no there was no um well, no interview no interview no um no, no cv sending off no nothing. no tra no training no trials no. we got a package through the post two bottles of maple syrup mm -hmm. and a signed letter for the Canadian Mounties. Wow, just so like that. that. That's, yeah. that's so that right. was it. That was it. Clearly, I mean, as you said, they were very short of people, so I suppose yeah. you needed to get them over as soon as they could. Exactly, exactly. The time was of the essence. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so we packed up, sold the house, took me and my sister mm -hmm. out of school <laughs> for a life over in the Rockies. Wow, Rockies, isn't it? I mean, Good lord. I think there are some rocky mountains there, yeah. Even Why if not? they're not called the Rockies, those mountains were rocky. So yeah. we are. Um, uh, it was an amazing change of uh, scenery. Um, yeah. Dad loved it. Uh, Mum, not so much. Uh, mm -hmm. um, uh, she left Dad pretty soon after that. Um, oh, really? Yeah. The, uh, the relationship went due south. <laughs> <laughs> it got. He got very cold, very cold, very quickly. <laughs> it snowballed, if anything. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, would do. None yeah. of that's true. Of course, they stayed together. They're very happy. Uh, that's mm -hmm. not true either. Somewhere in between. <laughs> no, uh, they stayed no. together, but hated each other. Yeah, for the rest of their life. Yeah, yeah. And no, so, no. did your dad? Did your dad take well to it? You know, did he? Obviously, no experience, but he no. did he cope with the, new, the job? Or uh, it, it was rocky at the start. Um, mm -hmm. and uh, the problems did mount up, but he tried not to saddle us with any of his problems, and um, okay. and you got to tip your hat to him um, for that. Um, mm -hmm. uh, but no, it was it was it was cool. We had a, yeah, it was it was really good. Uh, you know, you know, yeah, swings and roundabouts. Uh, but uh, I, I made a friend called Nunuk, mm -hmm. and uh, we used to go. Um, ice fishing. Oh, okay. Oh, indeed. And um, we ha you had to you know, drill through the ice or smash through the ice in uh, Canada. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we used to uh, fish. Now, okay. what what people used normally did was drill a hole, or make mm -hmm. a hole, and put a line yep. down. Yeah. And then wait for the fish to nibble on the line and then pull them up. Yeah. What 
Nanook taught me to do was to not drill a hole, but to get a really sharp spear. Really okay. sharp. We'd spend right. 10 hours a day sharpening the end of this spear. Goodness me. And we would, we borrowed Dad's horse. Okay. What was the horse's name? Because I'm pretty sure they all, they, they all give their... Uh, oh, like, you know, the mountains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A name, yeah, yeah. So a name that really meant a lot to uh, to him, probably. Uh, yeah, it was um, Peg Leg Peggy. Right. Uh, sounds like there's a bit of a... Must be a story behind that. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, but perfectly normal horse, just no. called Peg Leg Pemmy. She... Peggy. Three of her legs were exactly the same length, so you can't, you know... Mm-hmm. The other, the the fourth leg was half the size. It finished at the Ooh. knee. Okay. So there was a bit of an there was a bit of an angle when you used right. to ride her. Yeah. They put an extra long, um, extra thick horseshoe mm-hmm. on her, of course. What but, to compensate? For yeah, the... yeah. But the weight of it, the weight of it, you know, it never really evened out. No, no. I suppose without the horseshoe, she would have been brilliant going downhill. Like coming down the side of a mountain, absolutely perfect. That's what you want. And, and you have never seen a horse turn left quicker. No, sure. Right was a bit more of a problem. Yeah, yeah. Problem. quicker to go all the way around, probably. It really was, yeah, yeah, yeah. 360, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> but bless her, but bless her. She was a lovely horse, lovely horse. Mm-hmm. Um, we had nothing against her, her, her three legs. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, neither did she. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. So, yeah, so what me and uh, Nanook used to do, we used to stand on uh, back of Peggy and mm-hmm. used to jump off and throw our spear through the ice, not through wow. the hole, through the no. ice. Wow, okay. The fish weren't expecting that. The fish were always no. trying to stay away from the holes, mm-hmm. but we used to throw it through the ice straight into the fish. Okay. And that we got very successful mm-hmm. doing it that way. Yeah. Don't ask about how so, we got. Don't ask about how was, we got the fish back out. But good, very good timing saying that. <laughs> that was going to be you my next question. I'm not going to bore you with how we, we got the fish back out. Um, you weren't doing it for food. You just were out to kill some fish. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, uh, and if it meant ten hours sharpening a spear uh-huh. that you were never going to get back. Yeah. Yeah. Worth it. So you know, grew up, grew up with that. Learned really, really well. We were we were notorious in Canada. We were called the Mister Ice Guys, <laughs> and and so we we become famous kind of around the world in that in that circle of you know mm-hmm. uh, of uh, kind of fishing and stuff. The, the ice spear fishing community. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. And um, uh, we got uh, someone got in contact with us. Um, uh, he's uh, a guy from Fiji. Oh, and he's he was taking up the family business of uh, spear fishing, not ice fishing. No, 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 just spear fishing. No, not in Fiji. Okay. Not in Fiji. Right. No, 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 no. But but he in that circle where you recognise the skill of um, spear fishing, mm-hmm. and uh, and we, there was a a guy in France um, uh, contacted mm-hmm. us. And that was the the Brittany spear fishing, mm-hmm. Brit- the Brittany spear fishing. <laughs> um, but oh we but God. we we were doing our studies at the time, so we didn't. Mm-hmm. No, no. Uh, we didn't have time to go and see him. But luckily, after after our studies, um, a guy from Fiji uh, uh, contacted us, and mm-hmm. um, he wanted help. We just taken over a family business, but he didn't really know what what he was doing. Oh, just wanted mm-hmm. a little bit of international kind of knowledge. So uh, me yeah. and uh, Nanook uh, went over to Fiji. Um, oh, you flew out? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, we didn't system. fly it. We, we um, canoed out. Um, <laughs> uh, no, yeah, Nanook was unbelievable at, uh, at um, rowing a, a, a canoe. Yeah. And so, yeah, we made a way. It's still a long old trip, though, isn't it? Yeah, but it was. we didn't have a lot of money over that back then. You know, we... Oh. You, Dad was a mount. It wasn't a very good mountie, but it was a mountie. No. The 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 bills were mounting up, um, mm-hmm. and 
so we made the, the cheapest way we could find to get over to Fiji, which was canoe. Yeah. Um, did it um did it get quite cold at night out on that thing? Um, Cause I've, I've had a few horror stories <clears throat> mm-hmm. of people you know out on them and uh, gets a bit cold. They start a little fire to keep warm when it sinks. Just right. well, it it just it just goes to show you can't have your kayak and heat it, but um. Sorry, that's such a crowbarring that in. Um, so long old trip, long old trip. But you got there. I'm oh, not cutting that one out. Um, yes, we finally got there, and we helped the guy with his with his family business, and it was amazing out in Fiji. Have you been to Fiji? It's an amazing place. I haven't. No, no, no. Amazing place. The crystal, crystal aqua blue waters, <laughs> crystal clear mm-hmm. waters, and um, we we kind of. Uh, we, we kind of found our way into a different business. The jelly, we kind of got into a je- the jellyfish business mm-hmm. in the eighties. Now right. I don't know if you know this. No. Do you know how jelly is made? You know jelly <laughs> that you that you eat. Uh, well, I thought I did. Um, but now I'm not... things have changed since the eighties. In the eighties, <laughs> j- jelly, raspberry jelly, lime jelly. Mm-hmm. You name it. If it was proper jelly, ten percent of that jelly mm-hmm. was harvested from jellyfish. It was jellyfish ten percent? It was. There was a, the minimum was ten percent. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, wow. it, you can get the, you know, the replaced uh, synthetic. Yeah, and, synthet- yeah, exactly. They're manufactured. Yeah. But in but the eighties, uh, not... no, 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 it's no. not jelly. No, 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 mm-hmm. no. no, no. Okay. No, as a cheap, yeah. cheap, uh, uh, you know. Uh, but in the eighties, mm-hmm. the minimum that jelly had to be was ten percent from jellyfish. Jellyfish, okay. That's amazing. I'd always thought that the jellyfish were named after the jelly, no. rather than the other. But that, no. that's amazing. The See, jellyfish have been around for hundreds of years, if not, <laughs> okay. if mm-hmm. not more. If not okay. longer, mm-hmm. okay. And um, so we were quite a big part of the uh, jellyfish industry in Fiji. Mm-hmm. And but because we were the kind of pioneer, or not pioneers, but we were the the guys that kind of made it international, kind of got our you know the the, the industry yeah. from Fiji, that we had to do a lot of the the spear fishing because you do spear fish jellyfish. <laughs> That jellyfish can move. You don't, people don't appreciate this, mm-hmm. but jellyfish, when they see a net, not the woman, <laughs> when they say a fishing net, mm-hmm. they are very, they're far much more aware than you think they are. And they amazing will, that, yeah. That's uh, amazing that they see it at all, considering, as I understand it, they don't have eyes. So that's. Yeah. You're just go show my ignorance. ignorance. Really, so. Exactly. The, that's fine. Yeah. You know, you're not you're not party mm-hmm. to that world. But mm-hmm. don't let ocular. <laughs> don't let the fact that I not having eyes will make you blind. Mm-hmm. You know, there's a lot of other things that animals have, humans, uh, mammals, yeah. animals have to compensate yes. to overcompensate for that. Uh, people yeah. would. Pe- some people have said that uh, jellyfish are the super superheroes of the sea. Have they? Yes, they have. Okay. Especially in the uh, spearfishing world. So, mm-hmm. we started our business. Our industry was the spearfishing uh, of jellyfish. Mm-hmm. And uh, like I say, we were pioneers. Uh, we were the people that started that industry, really. And mm-hmm. so we did a lot of it ourselves. Mm-hmm. And I remember a time, it was kind of a stormy time in the 80s. And I'd spent uh, weeks spearfishing. 
right. jellyfish. And I put them, I remember I put them onto a, uh, uh, a trawler, uh, f- a fishing boat one, it was like one weekend, one Saturday, one weekend. And I was so tired from, from completing that order that I had fallen asleep. Uh, I laid down on a, do, have you ever, have you ever taken a nap or for having a little snooze on a bed of jellyfish? I haven't. No, I mean, it's okay. Sure. Something, you know, first thought would be that it would be the opposite of comfortable, but I don't, I don't have the experience to back that up. So. It's not. It's like, just think how comfortable it would be sleeping on 400 fried eggs. Oh, Imagine how comfortable that would be. Mm. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. I can see that. Beautiful. It would be pretty Good. all white. It would be. That would be all right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be afraid to say it. <laughs> no, you'd have to look on the sunny side, I suppose. But... Don't. Are these jokes your own, or have you poached them from someone else? Look, I'm a I'm a well-to-do spatula. I can say what I want. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay. So you're, you're you're there asleep on your bed, oh jellyfish. Yes. Uh, I'm afraid so. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> Um, now, we were we were the we were the kind of the big guys in in trying to make the uh, jellyfish industry international you know, from Fiji at the time. Would you believe a group of Colombians uh, tried to uh, muscle in on our nah, uh, business really? as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we had a bit of a bit of a ding dong, bit of a back and forth with those. They were trying to they say they were trying to muscle in with us, but we wouldn't clam up. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, some of these jokes are cracking. Cracking? Oh, you. Uh, they thought their eyes. They thought they were going to be squids in uh, <laughs> by Ugh. taking our business. Um, and, and so, like I say, there was there was a bit of bit of. Uh, you know, uh, hostility, and and yeah. So uh, one uh, after one uh, hunting period, when I caught a lot of uh, the jellyfish, um, I I kind of fell asleep on my bed of jellyfish uh, in the in the uh, crate, and mm-hmm. um, unbeknownst to me, the uh, Colombians had been watching and trailing the trawl. <laughs> mm-hmm. Had been, uh, they managed to uh, uh, take the crate off of the our vessel and put it mm-hmm. onto their ship. And yeah, high high jinxed it. No, <laughs> high tailed it. High, <laughs> I uh, got yeah high tailed. High five the way back to Colombia, <laughs> and they high tailed it. Um, yeah, all the way from Fiji. Um, mm-hmm. In a in a speedboat back to Colombia. Good lord! We're ready for the market three mornings later. <laughs> I was going to say. Um, um, and th- imagine their surprise when they opened the crate, and mm. I was in there. Now, wow! All I'd eaten for three days was raw jellyfish. Right. So you're feeling a bit wibbly wobbly at this point. <laughs> I was. Um, mm. I couldn't. I tried to swear at them, but my tongue was uh, so swollen from all the stings that it had got mm-hmm. um, that. Oh, oh, do you know the flavours in the sting of a jellyfish? I, di- I didn't know that. No, no. I didn't, in fact, I assumed there wasn't any flavour <laughs> in the jellyfish. But no, 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 no. The sting is what you want. If anyone, is it? the next time you're in a seafood restaurant and there's jellyfish on the menu. You want to ask? Just walk out. Just walk out, no, leave, because that is that is no. not a genuine then, seafood restaurant. If you go to a restaurant and there's jellyfish on the menu, you make sure that you say to the waiter, the "Maitre d', yeah, maitre d'." Oh, well, it depends what level of restaurant you're in. Come on, it's me. Okay, sure. You make sure you said to the maitre d', <laughs> tell the chef that I want the the stingers in there as well, please. Okay. 
This will enrich my, uh, and my you will, culinary experience. You will never it. forget that meal. It will be a meal to remember for the rest of your life. <laughs> for all the wrong reasons. For you won't enjoy any it, reason. You'll... It's all subjective, Ben. Right or wrong, <laughs> it's all subjective. Right. Or wrong. <laughs> That was the time. <laughs> that was the time that I accidentally got kidnapped by Colombian jellyfish <laughs> poachers. Lovely stuff. Wow. Yet again, what a story. Yeah. What a story. Yeah, it is a crazy, crazy time. Mm. It, 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 it sounds like it. We, you know, repatriated back to Fiji or, or indeed Canada. <laughs> okay, good. okay good. Cool. good cool glad to hear it okay. check yeah <laughs> the smart sound <laughs> I mean Shawshank Redemption though. <laughs>